Girl, have y'all heard the latest rumor about Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj? Honey, let me tell y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. It is going everywhere. And that's why I got to bring it to y'all. So this is the rumor. You guys remember, it has been reported that Remy Ma's son, Jason, was arrested for the murking of D-Block. Come to find out, girl, D-Block is blood cousins to Kenneth Petty. Mind you, that is Nicki Minaj husband now they say that Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj they were beefing and they're still maybe at odds but they do shit behind the scenes okay so honey that is the rumor going on people well this youtuber I'm gonna put his name in the credit um he pushed this rumor out that's why it's in, in a whole different magazines and articles and I want to let you guys hear it from his mouth and I want to know do you guys believe it D Block, the OG of uh, drug kingpin that was killed by Remy Ma's son and another one of his affiliates in the murder for hire, is blood cousins to Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, man. All right, buckle up, because things just got real and the latest bombshell dropped on the messy sweet spot. By the time this video ends, you'll be deep in the scandalous world of street rumors and high-profile drama. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and share this tea. It's piping hot. So word on the street is that Remy's son, infamous for his ties to the streets, is allegedly linked to the shocking demise of D-Block, a notorious OG drug kingpin. Now, Nikki ain't making the rumors. She didn't make it no better because she decided to go on Twitter and say, call Webb. No, she said that on Instagram, call Webb. Webb is Queen's Flip's cousin. Webb is a big guy who can probably, you feel me? And she said, who up? Now, what people not understanding about when Nikki said who up, and I feel like this was absolutely stupid. But here's where it gets even spicier, turns out. D-Block is not just any hood legend he's blood cousins with none other than Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty. And Nikki, well, she's not helping to quiet the speculation either, throwing fuel on the fire with a cryptic call web post on Instagram. And let's not forget the Bronx connection, Remy, Kenneth, D-Block. They all share the same gritty origins. It's a tangled web of loyalty, betrayal, and old grudges surfacing amidst the chaos of the streets. Now, people would be saying, why would Nikki say who up and all this? Well, because D-Block people is going on a rampage on Instagram, all of them. It's a lot of these dudes. And don't forget, D-Block, Nikki, Kenneth Petty, they all from the same hood. You feel what I'm saying? So... It's a lot of people that's going on a rampage. They had this beef, right? Remy and Nikki. How in the world does Nikki, uh, Remy, my son, get arrested for the murder of Nikki Minaj's husband's cousin, D Block? But here's the kicker amidst rumors of snitches and street justice. Remy Sun finds himself behind bars for D-Block's demise, raising eyebrows and questions throughout New York's underground scene. Could this be the ultimate reckoning in a long-standing feud or just the beginning of a much darker tale? Stay tuned as the messy sweet spot uncovers more twists and turns in this gripping saga. Don't miss out like subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. This is Gigi bringing you the raw truth straight from the streets. Let's get into it. So I told y'all that a lot of people thought D-Block snitched. Rick Ross was bought to a certain place. From Rick Ross being bought to this certain place, it divided a certain place. Now remember, Rick Ross and 50 didn't like each other at that time. So a lot of people wasn't feeling somebody bringing Rick Ross to somebody. They tried to shoot a video shoot, shut it down, all that. In the midst of that, somehow, some way, after it divided everything, Remy Ma ended up getting stabbed up. But don't forget, 50 was messing with a lot of people, and Nikki was messing with 50. 